Yozora. All right, hey guys, we're in a new segment, Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, Trapley and Pat. Matt, yeah. Oh, he's from Chip Florida. So how you like in New York right now? I mean, you know, I like the vibes. It's kind of fast, a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Yeah. Is it worse than Florida? Yeah, a whole lot of walking, too. Yeah, it's worse than Florida. I know it's hard. To it's no parking. parking like, yes. Yeah. yeah. Florida, y'all be having space. Yeah, we got <laughs> space. So um, tell us how you got into music. Oh, I was already into music. I already, like, used to freestyle all the time. I wasn't in too deep, though. I was pretty shallow, but I always used to hit the studio. Uh -huh. But when I left college, you know, a little setback after college, I wasn't able to return to the uh, campus. Uh -huh. I really took it serious. It became my first priority. Ever since then, I've just been going at it, trying to elevate every time. Okay, so when did you, like, was done with basketball and wanted to, like, seriously go home? No, nah, I wasn't was basketball, it was football. Football. Yeah, That's I played football. Oh, yeah. No, you I right. Re so good. when did you was, like, done with football and wanted to go heavy on the music? Soon as I, soon as I left, like, a semester after I, the first semester of college, my freshman semester after that, it was time to uh, take music more serious. I couldn't return, so it was like, that was my first priority. That's what I wanted to do. And I just substituted school for rapping. Okay. So, what, you remember your first song you made? Yeah, I do. What was it called? It was called, it was like, what it was called? Different Breed. You it remember? It was called it? Different Breed, yeah. So, like, you said you remember? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, how do you feel like you grew as an artist from your first song as to now? Like, where you feel like you improved? Uh, I used to like rap with no hooks. I, I never had hooks on the songs. I used to just flow through like bars, just the whole thing, like 60 bars. Mm -hmm. But now I'm able to like lay out hooks, choruses, and everything I got to do is like, it's more established. It's more, it's more fluent. Everything flows more better than me just flowing straight through a beat. So your structure definitely improved? Yeah, my structure like improved. So you feel like you learned that over time or? Yeah, I know? learned that as I like, as I go to the studio, I look at the studio as like practice, like where you go to like get better at certain places where you like, you stumble. Do you have a favorite place you like recording? Yeah, but I don't want to say favorite, but I actually do. Yeah, the first place I ever started recording at, that's where I usually go the most. So you have a set engineer, producer, and things Yeah, like it's that? an engineer. DC, I use multiple engineers, but DC, he was the first one that recorded me. Mm -hmm. 808 Nate, J.O., DJ No Limit. Hall of Fame, yeah. yeah, so those people right So there. you buzzing now, so when you see like your type beats on YouTube, you ever check <laughs> those out? Yeah, I be freestyling <laughs> to them all the time. I must say, you feel like those definitely capture your sound? Yeah, I do, some okay. of them do. Do you have like a um, favorite producer? Yeah, Pepper Jack Zoe, he, he makes most of my beats. I'm still open to other producers though, okay. but yeah, he makes majority of my beats. Okay. All right, so when did the success start picking up for you? Like, when did, was it like, oh, I can't just walk to any store no more? <laughs> like, when did this start happening? Big business this year, big business took off, big business did a lot, like, to the point, like, I can't even go places. I already get messages in my Instagram, like, I see you, man. <laughs> Keep it going, though. Right, it's so, like, like, was you know? there ever an interaction that you remember that was like, oh, shit, I gotta be on point? Yeah, one time I pulled up to a gas station, it was nowhere near. Somebody just walked up to me like out of nowhere. My homeboy was like, damn, you knew him? And I was like, nah, man, but he knew me. And he was like, damn. They're like, you see what I be talking about? <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Thinking everything game. So People that know you for real. Was definitely for real. at that time. So <laughs> do you, what do you feel like um, attracted everybody to big business because people would say it's your eyes but i really think it's a good song so what do you think it was could be the beat the uh the scenery the thumbnail too the thumbnail played a role my manager she she always was talking about thumbnail i never knew anything about a thumbnail but <laughs> yeah i ain't really never know about that type of stuff but the thumbnail all of that everything played a role so <coughs> when did you start doing a thing with your eyes? Was that purposely? Like you gonna do that on your videos? Or was it like? <laughs> you know, everything. Everybody has stuff that they do recreationally before they go have a good time. I don't really, I don't really gotta get too deep into it. But before the music videos, everybody hangs out. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's Wednesday, so. Yeah. So this is having fun. Having fun, yeah. Hanging out, yeah. Enjoying yourself. Okay, okay, okay. So how did you get in tune with Fredo? Like, how did you guys meet? Well, I met him before at a, a video show, and I took a little picture for him. It's still on my Instagram. It's probably the last picture. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I met him there. We ain't say. He didn't say too much, exchange a few words. But recently, last year in November, somebody from his team reached out to me. We connected, you know, we met up at the office, came to a conclusion, you know, and we was able to like make ends meet. And ever since then, we've been aiming for the stars, for real. Damn best, it's crazy. So a lot of artists are like against, I guess, signing to other artists and things like that. What would you say is the plus to being with a big artist, you know? I wouldn't say a plus though. I don't really want to get in depth though. Uh -huh. but I'm saying everybody got their own route. I don't feel like there's a flaw in doing anything. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a different situation. So at the end of the day, it's whatever you got to do in order to make ends meet. So right. yeah, that's so how definitely I look at one it. step going up the ladder. Yes, yeah, a step is going up. Okay, okay, okay. So what inspired Through the Door Project? Oh, I mean, I mean, my, okay. The people around me always said I gotta make a statement, so we came to the conclusion that we could call the mixtape through the door. Like we here, we're showing them why we should be through the door and okay. stuff like that. And there was a lot of doubt and stuff, so we was able to like pick a lot of pick songs that were on the same type of like scale format, mm -hmm. same vibe, and through the door came out good for real. So you have like a certain, so it definitely captured a certain sound, the whole project. Um, what would you say is your favorite song on the project? Uh, Hustler. Hustler. And what about that song is like makes it your favorite? <laughs> I like that song. I was in my feelings when I made that song. <laughs> it's, it's me. Like when I listen to that song, it takes me somewhere that I that only I know what's going on. So it's like so it's, like it's that fun. whole vibe on there was like yeah, that thing one was good. So what's wrong on the say we feel like needs more recognition or a song that you feel like it slept on on the project? Or you can't tell just yet? Oh, No Heart. You feel like they sleeping on that song? Yeah, No Heart getting slept on. But it's okay. It probably needs a visual, you know, sometimes. You know. But they sleeping on that song for real. I think the streams on No Heart kind of low for real. Okay, okay. So tell us how some of your features came about. Um, we got Cut em Reese. We have a lot of features. But yeah, Cut em Reese fired a lot. I wanted to do the song with him. I felt like he could lay out a verse that could really be good on the song, so we was able to connect and get that done. Trunks, he's kind of from the same area, so mm -hmm. reached out to him. I like his vibe, you know, he's like, kind of like emo, emo type music, dark music. So you into tapping into new sounds and yeah. meeting different people and things like that? I like challenges, so I like putting myself in uncomfortable positions to adapt to somebody else's music, like just to see if I could do it. We was able to do that without a problem. So what's um what's something on your bucket list when it comes to music? Bucket list? When you say bucket list, like like what's one thing you want to accomplish? Like once it's done, like yeah, I did that. Got to hit that billboard, so. <laughs> but not just one time, multiple. Like how? Like the first one, the first one billboard. Yeah. Then what's one more? The billboard. People say the gold plaque, people say Oh, uh, the, with a million streams, platinum, diamond, like, All that, all that stuff. Yeah, the stuff with serious royalties, like for real. All that stuff. Like big businesses running though. Yeah, it's I need still big going. Business. Yeah, it's just not getting started though. Okay. Yeah, it's so just not getting started. what's next, 2021? Well, I got another project on the way, but I'm touring next month, so I'll be touring like June, July. Be everywhere, all over the, uh, all over the U.S. right now. All over the U.S.? Yeah, all over the U.S. Okay, so tell the people where to find you oh, yeah. and how they could get in tune with you. A lot of people want to get sent some beats to you, too. So we're going to get all that stuff. Okay, yeah. you, you can find me uh, on every social media platform at Trapland Pat, T-R-A-P-L-A-N-D Pat, everywhere. Oh, and if you want to send me beats, I got the uh, email beats for Trapland Pat at gmail.com, B E A T S. For tracklandpat at gmail.com. Yeah. I'm taking every beat. Drill <laughs> beats and everything. I know All New York stuff. like drill. I'm telling you. Yeah, how you feel about the drill scene? I fuck with drill music. Really? Yeah. Who you listening to? Or who you I used to listen to Fabio a lot, for real, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my homeboy got me listening to Chef G, Capello, all type of people. 
Sleepy Hollow. Oh, okay. Yeah, a whole lot of people. Okay, okay. Lucky Swole, all it. Everybody. Are you tapping to the New York scene? Oh yeah. You feel like you're gonna come to New York some more? Yeah, I like it. Okay. We outside. We outside. <laughs> <laughs>